Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Charles. First and foremost, I would like to thank each and everyone for the wonderful support you have given to me for the last video. Thank you very much for all your likes, comments and subscription. If you have not watched the last video, the previous video, please do watch and support me. I have given this link in the description. Please do watch and support. Okay. After publishing the last video, I got a lot of suggestions from you. Uh, first and foremost, to change my attire and um, buy a collar mic and all those things. It's a lockdown, so I'm not able to move outside. Definitely all your suggestions are taken very seriously. Things will be seen in future videos. Thank you everyone for your suggestion and your support. In the last video, we have discussed the importance of learning English. Why should we learn English? And today, I am here with few tips to help you learn English or to help you improvise your English. These are going to be so simple. Don't say silly. These are going to be very simple that you can put them into your life so easily. Let us check it out. The first thing is Always make it a habit of writing a page. Whatever you do, since the time you get up until you go to bed, write down whatever you do. You played, you wasted your time. How did you waste your time? Just write down. Make it a practice of writing a page every day. This is one of the very important methods to improve your English. How? You will, you will ask a question, how? You start writing for two months. I am not going to answer. You will get the answer. Just keep writing. Keep one thing always in your mind. That you are conscious of learning or improving the English that you already know. So what do you do? Just start writing a page. Whatever you do, entire day. Okay, that's the first idea which is going to be helpful a lot. Okay, what is second? What is second? Make it a practice of reading three pages of English. And don't ask me which book to read. It is left to you. Read a book, textbook, novel or a newspaper, anything of that such. Just start reading Three pages, just three pages every day. Just start reading. You just read whether you understand, you don't understand. That is secondary. Just start reading. Okay? There is always a saying. There's a saying, Rome was not built in a day. Okay? If I'm not wrong. So after reading for 10 days, don't ask me. My English is not improved at all. No. You just read it for two months. I tell you, you will realize the change. And what is the third idea? This might sound a little silly, but this is a fact. Watch Hollywood movies as many as you want. Just watch as many as Hollywood movies with the subtitles. Watch the movie, listen as well as watch. You read the subtitles and try to understand the conversation that happens between two people. Okay? So the third tip is start watching as many Hollywood movies as you want or you like. So that is one of the simplest way to improve your English and to learn English. And the last one, this is very crucial. This is very crucial and this is very important. This is where we all go wrong. So I advise you or I suggest you to think always in English. You should always think in English. Only then you can put the same idea into words. So what we all do? We all think in our mother tongue. Obvious. We all think in our mother tongue and the same thing we translate into English. You know what happens? I'm just going to give you a simple example. This is a simple Kannada sentence. I don't know how far it is correct sentence but I'm going to just make it. Okay? Rama Site jote kaadige hodanu. It's a Tamil, sorry, it's a Kannada 
a sentence. Okay, I'll just make another sentence. Okay, Ramun see the Yodan cut the Sendran. This is the Tamil sentence, the previous was the Kannada sentence. And the same things are the same sentence I'm going to tell you in English. Rama went to forest along with Sita. If you are aware, just look at the placement of the verb where it is. In Kannada sentence and Tamil sentence, the verb was at last. But not the same thing happened with English. Yes or no? Yes, this is what we do. This is what the biggest mistake we do. We always think in our mother tongue and same thing we put into English and it becomes a mess. So, my last and foremost idea is to always think in English. Same thing, you can talk. And your language becomes easy. And these are some of the few things that you need to do when you learn English. You can start praying in English. Of course, God understands every language, right? So you can start uh, praying in English. If you want to scold someone, you can definitely scold in English. You know what happens? There is no conflict at all. The other person doesn't understand English. You scold in English, things are solved. Your emotions are let out. You have scolded him and he has not understood. And you, 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 you don't give a chance to have a conflict. Things get over and you learn language. By hook or hook, you need to learn the language that's all. And I told you these are the simple ways to learn English. You can start imitating someone whom you like, the person who speaks good English. You can start imitating. You can listen to some good audios. And these are the, some of the ways of learning English. And those who know English, you can improvise your English. Okay? Thank you very much for listening patiently. If you like this video, please like share, subscribe and support. Thank you very much.